Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Lori. Missing you guys so much. Happy to be here. This is a very fun class. Make sure you have your chair and your band handy. We're going to do some band and cardio with you today. Let's start off on our feet with a nice light march warm up. Big inhale. Exhale, roll those shoulders back too. Get those bodies moving. Right here, another inhale. Exhale, shoulder roll forward. All right, walk it up right here. Doesn't matter which foot you started with. Want you to walk it. Stay close to your chair in case you need it. Hope everybody's doing well. I miss you guys so much. Can't wait to see you again. How about a little V step? So it's forward and back in the shape of a V. Again, doesn't matter which foot you're on. Just keep that, those bodies moving. Slight bend of the knee. Four more. Let's go back to walking up right here. Walk it up. Let's go back to those knee steps. Two more. March it wide. Pick those knees up. Go wide. We're going to go side to side right here. Little toe tap. And let's add some arms, reach up. Come on, we're stretching those arms. As you reach, we're warming up those shoulders. Get that heart rate up. Eight more. Four, three, two. Let's go across your chest. Keep those legs for it. Now you're opening up that back. Keep going. Four, three, two. Let's stretch. Just keep those legs wide. One arm at a time. Big stretch. Come on down, opposite arm. Bring it down. Walk those feet in. Let's go back to your march. One more warm up for your legs. Give me a step up. Swing those arms right here. Keep it going. Get ready to change those legs up. We're going to make it a hamstring curl and reach and pull back with your arms right here. Keep this going. Slight bend of the knee. Get those heels back there. Come on, we're warming up those hamstrings. And your back when you reach pull. We're getting ready for those bands. Keep it going. Step, touch, and swing. Now we're going to take those toes forward and tap. Big arms here. Get those arms up. Just swinging them side to side. Come on, tapping those toes. Swing them forward. Now we're going to do a heel tap. Reaching and pull, bending the knees, leading into a little stretch. Last step. Four, three, two, and one. Let's take one heel forward. Just sit back, keep that leg straight. Little hamstring stretch, tap toes. Tap it side to 
side to side. And toes down. So you got the little deeper. Feel that good stretch back there. Bring that leg in. Opposite foot. Take your heel forward. Get those hips back. Stretching your hamstring. Toes up. Tap. Take it side to side. And down. Sit back. Last stretch here. Feel that in that hamstring. Get together. Back to your march. We're going to grab our band from behind your chair. And we're going to come forward into our chair. Slowly sitting in that chair, taking your band underneath the arches of your feet. We're going to do some light work first. So you want to keep your feet right inside the chair. But you want to go a little wide, wide enough at least, to keep your band nice and tight. So you can feel the resistance as we work those legs. Once again, it doesn't matter which foot you start with. All we're going to do is start off stepping out one foot at a time right here. Trying to go wider than your chair. Keep that band on the outside of your legs. Keeping it tight. Right here, stepping out. So there's lots of different levels with this exercise. We're working those legs, outer thighs, hips and glutes. All right, level two, same thing, but you're just picking it up a little bit. A little bit faster. Make sure that foot is coming off the ground. Come well, on, let's wake those muscles up in those legs. Sitting up nice and tall. So level three, two feet at a time, starting off slow, right here. But you hit your level. If you have to stay at one or two, go for it, or pick it up right here. Keep those abdominal muscles engaged and try not to arch your lower back. Constantly working your core and we're working those legs. Come on, keep going. Let's do eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go back to level two. We're taking it down, four, three, two, now level one. Once again, you pick your level in this class, just keep your body moving. That's what we're doing here. And the band is optional. One more on each leg. Great job, let's stretch them out. Get to the edge of your seat and extend those legs. Keep your band around the arch. Gonna start off giving them a nice little stretch. Make sure you're at the edge of your seat so you can really stretch those legs out. Flex your feet. Great job. Before we do another set of legs, we're gonna row a little bit and feel this in your upper back and shoulders. Palms are by your side. Pull. So your palms are turned in. You're sitting up nice and tall in your chair. Pull. I want you to really pull back. Come on, you're trying to squeeze those shoulder blades together. So keep those elbows close to your body. Work the shoulders. Work the back. Pull back for three. It's one, two, three. And keep those shoulders back. One, two, three. Keep your chest lifted. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Let's go back to singles. Come on, give me eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just pull back for eight. It's eight, seven. Come on, hold it. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, let's take a break. Bands back under your feet. Get those shoulders a little roll back and forward if you need to. Shake them out. We're going back to your legs. We're doing our second set. Arches of the feet. Legs are about as wide as the chair, right inside the chair. Keep your band tight. Sit up nice and tall. Abdominals engaged. Starting off, level one. Stepping out right here. Keep 
You, you need to stay at level one. That's okay. You need to put the band down. That's okay too. I just want you to keep those legs moving. But always try to add that band. Wake those muscles up. Prove to yourself how strong you are. All right, so this is level one. Let's take it to level two and speed that up. Right here, come on. Make sure you're going wider than the chair. Make sure you're picking that foot up. All right, when you're ready, level three. Start off slow. Right here. Oh, work those legs. Keep going. Oh yeah, last four, three, two, back to level two, go. You're on your last set, four, three, two, and level one, taking it down. Woo, all right, those legs should be talking to you. One more on each leg. Great job, let's go back to our stretch. So you're on the edge of your seat. Flex those feet, extend those legs. Give them a good stretch. Band stays on the arches, because we're gonna row one more time. But we're changing it up a little bit. Crisscross. cross. Shoulders back and pull. So this time the elbows we're not squeezing the shoulder blades. You're just pulling up. Feeling it a little more in the shoulders and the chest. So your elbows stay wide. They're coming up, shoulder height. Keep going. All right, pull up to three. Ready, go. It's one, two, three. Do that again. One, two, three. Relax the neck. One, two, three. One more, one, two, three, back to the slow, eight, seven, six, five, you got four more, four, three, two, one, and done. Let's take a little break from our band. We're gonna take your band behind your chair. Keep it handy because we are going to go back to it. Roll the shoulders back and forth. And we're going to do a little more cardio. So give me a march. You're facing me, I'm on my right. So you're on your left. Starting off with a march. Stand up nice and tall. We're going to do a little cardio here. Let's get that heart rate up again. Tap those toes forward right here. And you're swinging those arms. Come on, keep everything moving. Keep going. We're going to do eight more and then add on to that. Four, three, two. Let's take a heel tap now and reach and pull. Those heels are tapping forward. Reach, pull. Back. Shoulders, chest. Make sure you're picking those feet up, tapping those heels. One more set, and then we're going to add on again. We're going to pick those knees up and do a standing crunch. A sitting crunch, I'm sorry. Sitting in the chair, obviously. In four, three, Two, right here, just pick up those knees, come on. Pick them up and crunch. You're working that core here. So tighten it up, engage it. You're still sitting up nice and tall on that chair, right? Keep going. So we're getting ready to change the arms. I want you to keep your knees coming up forward. And then we're going to take an elbow to knee. Little crossover here. 
Little rotation. Crunch, crunch. That rotation, working the waist a little more. Keep going. One more set. And then we're gonna add some kicks. Get ready. In four, three, two. Now let's kick it. Go, kick. Extend those legs forward. Come on, stretch them out. If I'm going too fast for you, just slow it down right here. It's okay. This is your workout. Just keep those legs moving. Now if you really want to get that heart rate up, we're going to add some arms right here. Reach to the toes. Put a little more cardio into it. Flex the feet. Extend the legs. Come on, keep it going. So now get ready to turn your knee out to the side and lift your heel up to your hand. That's going to open up your hips. You're going to feel that at the inner thighs. Ready? Let's go. Right here. You're still sitting up nice and tall. Get that heel up to the hand. If you can't quite touch the hand, that's okay. Don't bend over. Come on, sitting up. Nice and tall for eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bounce it out. Woo. If you have to take a big inhale, deep breath in, exhale, catch your breath. Anytime you need water, please have your water in handy. Drink a lot of it. Back to the bands. Let's grab them. I want them back under your feet. We're going to work your biceps. You can sit up in your chair for this one, but I would love you to slowly get out of that chair a little bit. It makes you work up a little bit harder, all right? But it works in the chair. On your hand grip, we're just gonna alternate. One arm at a time here. You wanna keep your band nice and tight. If you're sitting in your chair, same thing. You just might have to Tighten up the band a little bit by grabbing a little bit more or here. It's going to alternate. I want you to feel this in the biceps. Keep your shoulders back. Your knees are soft. If you're standing up, don't walk those knees out. Right here. Now, we're going to add on a little bit, and we're going to take them up two at a time. Let's go. Pull them up. Oh, yeah. Hold for three. It's one, two, three. Do that again. One, two, three. Just give me two more. One, two, three. One, two, three, back to alternating right here. Doesn't matter which arm you're starting. Last four, three, two, and one. Great job. So if you just did this set sitting in your chair, get on our feet. I want to do some squats with you. I want you to feel the difference in your squats with your band and without the band. Because most of the time in class, you do it without. The band's too much for you, don't use the band. And just still squat, just let those handles go. I like to pull my bands up a little bit, add a little more resistance. Down, two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. So make sure you're directly behind your chair, and up. Heels are planted down on that floor. Down, two, three, four, and up. You're sitting back in that chair, weight in your heels. Take it down, slow. Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, all right, let's speed that up. Down and up, down and up. Make sure weight's in your heels, not your knees. 
Sit back. Then any time you need to let those bands go, go for it. Down for three. It's one, two, three. Now we're doing some pulses here. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Now we're going to take it down slow in your chair. Make sure it's right behind you. Nice and slow in that chair. Woo, hope you're doing good. Hope your heart rate's getting up. I got a little sweat going here. Hope you got a little sweat going over there. All right. Let's work your pecs. So that your little chest muscles here. So you're going to take your handles of your band and you're going to put them on your wrist. Scoot them up. Close to the elbow. And you're just going to grab the center of your band. Put your elbows. I want them as high as your shoulders. The band. You're going to pull across the chest to keep your shoulders back. Sit up nice and tall, feet together, and let's just pull. I want you to leave the band tight though. Keep it tight. Feel those chest muscles working. Come on. Pull. Pull. I know you're feeling it. I'm feeling it up here. Pull. All right, now we're gonna pull back, pull this, pulse, 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 right here, come on, pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep going. Pull, pull, pull. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release, nice and slow, grab the back of your chair and lean forward. Opening up your chest a little bit, giving it a little bit of a stretch. Hold it. And come on back. Leave your bands here. Now instead of working the chest, we're going to work the rotator cuff a little more. Same thing, a little bit of band in the center, but this time your arms are straight ahead. You're still going to feel this in your chest, but you're also going to feel that in the rotator cuff too. So here we go, just pull. Pull. Try to keep those arms even with those shoulders. Pull. Pull. Sitting up nice and tall. Pull. Pull. Oh yeah. Keep your band tight. Alright, now let's pull tight and pulse, pulse, pulse. Come on, eight, seven, six, I know you're feeling it, four, three, two, and one. Woo, one more time, release nice and slow. Let's sit back this time and give that chair a hug. Lift the chest, little stretch, keep the shoulders down. You might also need to shake those fingers out a little bit. That's okay, shake them out. All right. We're going to take another little break from our band. Keep it close by behind your chair and march. So all of our cardio that we did just a few minutes ago, we're going to put it to an eight count feet, two steps. You might even add on a little bit. Some B steps in the chair. So get ready. Starting off, tapping the toes. Go. Just doing A. Four, three, two, make it a heel and reach and pull. Four, three, two, let's pick those knees up. Come on, crunch that core, tighten it up. Four, three, two, elbow to knee right here, a little crisscross. Four, three, two, and kick it, go. Extending those legs, flexing those feet. Three, two, let's add those arms. Reach for those toes. Four, three, two, turn that knee out. Tap that heel. You're ready to take it from the top at four, three, two. Tap the toes and swing those arms. Last round. Four, three, 
two, bend the heel, we'll reach and pull. Four, three, two, pick those knees up. Come on, work that core, crunch. Four, three, two, add those elbows to knees. Slight rotation of that core. Four, three, two, kick it. Extend those legs, flex those feet. Four, three, two, reach for those toes, come on. Four, three, two, turn that knee out, tap that heel. So get ready to add a sitting V step in four, three, two, V step right here, go. Doesn't matter which foot you start on. Come on, we're just extending those legs. Come on, working those hips. As you step out, half a circle there. Keep going. One more, and then we're gonna reverse those legs. Ready, opposite leg, lean that way. Just give me four more. Three, two, one more, and march. Woo! All right, grab those bands. All right, we are going to turn. Doesn't matter which side chair, chair you start off with. Um, I want you to hold the handle of your band. Your hand is right at your waist and your elbow is pointing back. You're holding on and then right around the center of the band. You're going to extend it. Step, kick back. So you go as tight as you want with your band or as loose as you need to go or no band at all. But if we're working the back of the arm here, so all you're doing is extending it back right here. Done. Where my elbow is, keep it pointing up. Arms extending straight back. Up for three. One, two, three. That again. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One more. One, two. Eight more singles. Come on. Six. Five. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Roll that shoulder and take it to the other side of your chair. The handle that band in that hand. how much band you want to keep loose or tight, depending on you. Rest that hand right there on that waist, and then extend it back. Tight or loosen it up. Loose or tight. Let's just put about these bands. You can adjust it according to the way you feel like working out today. Four, no bands at all. Right here. All right, up for three. Let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Eight singles. Go. Eight. Seven, six, five, you got four more. Come on, you can do it. Three, two, and one. Come on down. Woo, roll that shoulder. I know you're feeling it. All right. Back on your wrist, put it up. So all I want you to do is hold your Band right at your waist. We're just going to do some core rotations here. Keep your bands high. Feet are flat on the floor. Shoulders back. Little rotation. Keep your bands high. I want you to feel this in 
the core in your waist. So engage it. Come on. Keep going. Get a good rotation. All right. Stay on one side. Give me one, two, three, four, and change. One, two, three, four, change. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Back to single. Let's go a little bit faster. Come on. Well, work that way. One more set of eight. Four more. Three, two, and one. Woo, how are we doing? Hope you're doing good. All right. Overhead press with your band. Keep your band on one arm. Handle. I like to keep the palm of my hand facing forward and just lift. Overhead, right here. Left. Right back down, shoulder height. Left. Left. Come on, relax the neck. Straighten it out. Bring it back. We're just going to do four more. Come on, four. Take it down, go that way. And again, these exercises can be done without the band. All right, we'll that opposite arm. The band is tight as you want to go. Three, four. Try to extend that arm up there. Extend. Right back down. Shoulder height. Try to straighten that arm out. Come on, keep going. Last four. Three, two, and one. Bring it back. We'll roll those shoulders back and forth. Excellent job today. Back and march. One more round of cardio, and then I'm going to stretch you out. Two steps of eight. We're going to add our V step in the end. Ready? Tap the toes. Four, three, two, heels, and reach and pull. Four, three, two, let's pick up those knees. Come on, pick them up. High core. Four, three, two. Let's add those elbows. Come on. Four, three, two. Let's kick it. Go. Come on. Extend those legs. Flex those feet. Four, three, two. Reach for those toes. Four, three. Two, turn the knee out, tap that heel. You ready to take it from the top. Ready, back to your toes, Let's go. Four more. Make it a heel and a reach and pull. Four, three, two, let's pick up those knees, come up. Four. Three, two, elbow to knee. Little rotation. Four, three, two, and kick it. Go. Let go feet. Four, three, two. Let's reach those toes. Four, three, two. Tap that heel. Come on, turn that knee out. 
four, three, two, knee step. Go for four, three, two, one. Let's reverse it. We're going to add on again. We're going to reverse it and speed it up. Come on. Three, two, one. More reverse it. Go. Left side, stretch the core. Inhale up. 
top of the thigh. Inhale up, scroll down, hug your toes knee. Give them a great big hug. Open up your spine. Slide those arms. Roll up nice and slow. One more inhale. Give me those prayer hands. Come down, take a bow. Hope you enjoyed class. I had a great time. See you soon. Love you.